Okay. Um, so let's go ahead and separate the variables. Multiply by y squared on both sides, multiply by dx on both sides, you would get something like y squared dy equals uh, x cubed dx. Follow me. Go ahead and integrate, integrate y cubed divided by 3. You could say plus c, but if you, uh, here, I'll show it to you. Plus c equals x to the fourth over 4 plus c. And again, instead of just writing the plus c, what am I going to, what's the first thing I'm going to do? I'm going to subtract the c. I'm going to subtract the c on both sides anyways. So what I'm just going to do is just write it as 1c, right? Just because it's just a number, like some number that we don't know. Um, so instead of just subtract, instead of doing plus c on both sides, huh? No, but what I'm saying is we don't know what c is, right? C can represent any constant. So all I'm saying is what I showed in the last example, yeah, you're subtracting c1, you're subtracting c1. Whatever c2 minus c1 is, again, some number. We don't know what that is. So we're just going to represent that number with c, right? So that's all I'm saying is there is some constant that could be a part of it. But rather than doing all that work, what I'm just saying is we can just simplify the process and just write it as c, OK? Um, now, to go ahead and multiply and figure all this out, we can multiply by 3 on both sides. y cubed equals 3x to the fourth over 4 plus 3c. Undo y cubed by taking the cube root on both sides. y, um, y equals the cube root of 3x to the fourth over 4 plus 3c. So that is going to be your general solution. And if we want to find our, our general solution given our 2 and 3, what we can do is plug this 2 in for the x and the 3 in for the y to find our value of c. However, am I going to want to solve for c here? No, right? that doesn't sound much fun. But I could go back up to this original equation. It's really not that bad. If I was going to plug in my y, which would be 3 cubed over 3 equals 2 to the fourth over 4 plus c. It's much easier to solve for c up here, right? Yes? So you don't have, so I know I kind of added this late to you, but you could have, if you're going through this, try to see, make sure you're solving, finding your value c um, once you've integrated before you've solved. It's going to probably be more easy, uh, simple for you. So therefore, I have 27 over 3 equals 16 over 4 plus c. That's 9 equals 4 plus c. c is equal to 5. I can go now, go ahead and plug my 5 right in there. So y equals the cube root of 3x to the fourth over 4 plus 15. And again, we can double check to make sure this works. Plug in your 2 and your 3. So y equals 3 when x equals 2. So 2 to the fourth power is 16. Divided by 4 is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. 12 plus 15 is 27. Cube root of 27 is 3, which your y needs to equal. So that works out. Okay. Oh, I didn't print those out for you guys. <clears throat>